Shopify for developers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify as a developer and what are the different ways that you can use Shopify as a good e-commerce platform and a web development platform. So let's get into it. Now, first off, as a developer, you can go on to shopify.dev and start developing for Shopify. And this is not going to be the focus of the video. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. The focus of this video is going to be how you can use Shopify as a tool to sell your services but if you want to provide this specific service of creating applications themes custom storefronts marketplaces and all of that stuff you can choose to do that from shopify.dev and that is for people that are very interested in development and are not interested in one-on-one -on -one work but moving on make sure that you do click on the link in the description box down below to get started with shopify and start your 14-day free trial with shopify and i have a link in the description box for you to get started with your e-commerce journey whether it might be in development or anything else or any product or service that you would like to sell so moving on to our actual Shopify platform. Now, once you have logged on to Shopify, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Now, to create your Shopify account, all you need is your email and a store name. And once you have done that, this is going to be your dashboard. On your left, you're going to find your entire navigation plane. Then you have your settings at the bottom. And then on your top right, you have your account. Now, as a developer, what I like to do is I like to create a website or an e-commerce front for people that want to work with me. So that is the basic purpose that I like to use Shopify for. And I find it to be very helpful when I have a storefront where people can already get good estimates of my pricings and of how I do work and how I carry, uh, how what kind of rates I have and what kind of work I'm doing and to get a good portfolio of my web development skills. Now, for this, you can just Keep it simple and start by designing your online store. So you're just going to click on online store over here. And then I'm going to click on navigation over here on the bottom left. And then you're going to change your menu. So I have my main menu. And what I like to do is I'm just going to delete these filters that I have created already. And I'm going to create my own menu sections. So I'm going to delete all of these. And what I like to do is first off, I like to add a menu button that says my services, which would actually be the products that I am going to add to my Shopify store. And this really helps simplify, you know, how you're going to sell different services. Maybe if you do like a certain amount of code for a certain amount of time or money, then you can easily communicate that via the product section on Shopify. So we're just going to click on add menu item. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the first section, which is going to be my services and then i'm going to link it to the product section it is going to be all products and this is going to be all of my services and then i like to add another menu item called contact and then i like to link it to my contact page that i have created and i'm just going to click on add and you can create different pages as well so if you go onto the pages section i'm going to save these navigations and if you go onto the pages section over here, you can create different pages to communicate any information. So I can add like a page called my work and I'm just gonna save this page. And once I have saved this page, I'm just gonna go onto the navigation and I'm gonna click on the main menu. And maybe I want to illustrate my work to the people that are interested. So I can add a my work portfolio and i can just link the page that i just created called my work it's going to take a few seconds to appear over here but i'm just going to link the navigation menu item to the page that i created and obviously on that page you're going to input all the information about your work so my work portfolio and i'm just going to link to pages and now you have my work my work and i'm just going to add that over here now i'm just going to save this navigation bar and now I can go on to the online store and I can just click on customize over here. If you're a web developer, obviously you can create your own store with HTML, but to save time, you can go the easy route and use a template. That is what I'm going to do. So first off, I'm just going to click on this and you can remove sections by clicking at the bottom left over here, but I'm just going to edit the text over here and I'm just going to write Sarah's develop portfolio and I'm just gonna click on save and I'm gonna change the bottom text as well from over here over three years of exp and I'm just gonna go back 
Now this is going to be my basic home page. Now at the top center, you're going to find on your website editor, you have your navigation panel where you can browse different sections of your website. So you can see I have my my services section. So if I go over here, I have all of my products, which I haven't added yet, but you can see how it's going to look like. So I have contact my work portfolio. Obviously in your contact, you have the contact form where people can contact you. And then you have your work portfolio and I added my work. I didn't add any specific work. I just added the empty page, but that's just to show you guys how you're going to do it when you guys are creating your own uh, store using Shopify and make sure you use the link in the description when you create your own store for Shopify. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this and I'm going to start adding my product. So I'm just going to click on save over here. And I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go on to the product section over here. And I'm going to click on add product. And you might be wondering, okay, I don't provide products. Well, you provide services and you're going to add your services on the product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a website development. And then I can add a description about the work and add some media files as a sample. And then I can add the price. So it could be $50. And then I can, obviously this is not a physical product, so I don't need to track quantity. And for shipping, you're going to deselect this as well, because this is not a shipping. This is not a product that is uh, going to be shipped. So this is a feature that I find really helpful in Shopify because you can not only sell physical, but also digital products. Now I'm just going to save this over here. And once I have saved, that I have created my first product. Now, this is how you create a simple product. Now, obviously, you can add like application development, all of the services that you provide. And now I'm going to show you guys how you actually change the store name. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down on the left. You're going to click on settings over here. You're going to go into store details and you have your basic information and you're going to edit that over here. And then you can change your store name to whatever it might be. So it could be Sarah's development store studio and i'm just going to click on save over here and now if i go on to my shopify store you can see over here i have like a basic portfolio website up and running if i click on my navigation over here i can go onto the my services section like so and right now my services haven't been added so i'm just going to go into my online store and i'm just going to click on customize and i'm going to go on to my product section I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to go onto my services. And what I'm going to do is not only add collection, but I'm going to also add my product. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go onto my navigation. I'm going to go into my add main menu section. I'm going to edit my, my services. So I'm just going to edit that into collection products and all products i'm going to apply these changes now i'm going to go into my website and check it out and this is how easy it is for you to create your own shopify store make sure you click that link in the description to get started and not only can you create one store but if you click on your account at the top right over here you can click on stores over here and then you can click on create another store and create another separate store for a separate service that you are providing for web development and it might be a bit different so you can provide one kind of services on one store and the other kind on the other so make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video